Listen, I am ready to start making people rich right here on Millionaire! <laughs> Our first contestant is a hard-working sports buff who's lucky enough to have her number one fan here to support her today. From Mesa, Arizona, please welcome Kelsey Dickerson! <laughs> Now, who is your number one fan? Well, I'd like, I'd like to think it's a lot of people, but my number one fan is my grandmother. Um, she's here with me today. Oh, <laughs> so beautiful. So awesome. That is really good. Are you ready to play? Oh, I'm so ready. <laughs> All right. Look, here is the money tree. 14 questions spread over two rounds with money values growing from $100 all the way up to $1 million. Yes. yes. Now, round one has 10 questions worth anywhere from $100 to $25,000. Now, we have randomly shuffled up those questions. We've shuffled up the money values, too. All right? But if you make it to round two, you will be just four questions away from the million. Now, let's talk lifelines. You have asked the wonderful audience, you can jump the question, or you have the plus one, where you can bring someone who you brought with you today down here to help you answer your question. Who did you bring? I brought my grandmother. She's the one, <laughs> and she's the plus one. This is great. The number one fan That's and the me. one to help you. This is awesome. Are you ready to get started? I'm ready. Let's play Millionaire! Kelsey, here's your first question. Artist Yuri Schwebler once used a snowplow to draw a circle around what landmark, turning it into a sundial? Mount Rushmore, Great Sphinx of Giza, Washington Monument, Golden Gate Bridge. All right, let's see. Um, a sundial has this and wherever the shadow goes, that's how you can tell the time. So that wouldn't be Rushmore, the Sphinx of Giza. I don't think it even, I don't think it snows that much there anyways. Uh, not the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm gonna go with C, Washington Monument. Final answer. Your correctness is monumental. Next question, more questions, more money. Quentin Tarantino reportedly racked up over 6,000 euros in late fees for not returning two movies he rented while shooting what in Berlin? Kill Bill, Volume 1, Inglorious Bastards, Django Unchained, Pulp Fiction. Okay, um, the only one up there that looks like it makes sense in Berlin um, Inglorious Bastards, I believe, was um, based around World War II. Um, Kill Bill Volume 1, Django, Pulp Fiction were mostly in the United States, and Kill Bill was mostly in Asia. Um, I'm gonna go with B, Inglorious Bastards. Final answer. No need for a lifeline, it is correct! <laughs> Let's give some of that euro money in her bank, please. Let's get on to this next question. Which of the following is not an actual menu item at Guy Fieri's Vegas Kitchen and Bar? Italian fondue dippers, Yummo baby greens, Brother's Badass Caesar salad, Tatted Up Turkey Burger. Oh gosh, um, I'm not too up to date on Guy Fieri. Um... Let's see. Which of the following is not an actual menu not item? Not an actual menu item. Well, let's see. Guy Italian makes sense. Guy Fieri. Um, tatted up turkey burger, that also kind of makes sense. Um, he's got all those tattoos. He's kind of crazy a little bit. Um, Yummo baby greens. You don't sound too sure. I'm not very sure, you're right. <laughs> You have your lifelines. I do. Because... Oh gosh. Um, I'm really not sure. So this looks like 
a beautiful audience. Um, hopefully they can help me out with this one. Um, I'm gonna ask the audience. Way to butter them up, I like that. <laughs> All right, audience, Kelsey needs your help. Grab those keypads and vote now. All right, the vote has come in. And we are at 57% say B, yum old baby greens. Do you believe that's correct? Let's see. I've never seen his show. I've never been to his kitchen and bar. 57% is kind of, it's pretty good. You can use more than one lifeline on the same question. Oh, I hate to use two lifelines on one question. There's big money still on that board. There's a lot of big money. I just wish I had some kind of idea of what, like, his catchphrases are. Let's see. I'm going to go with B. Go with the audience. No, actually, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump the question. I absolutely don't know it. I'm sorry, audience. <laughs> I'm sorry. You are deciding to jump the question? Is that your final answer? Oh. Ah. Yes, final answer. She is jumping the question. It is now out of play. What's the correct answer? Oh, it was B, Yamo oh, Baby you. Greens. Oh, the shoot. audience was correct. How much money did you jump over? $5,000, $5,000. We'll be right back with more Millionaire. It's not over. It's not over. <laughs> Welcome back to Millionaire. I'm here with the lovely Kelsey Dickerson, who has $1,100 in her bank. And she came to Twinkie, Snowball, Zinger, Susie Q. All right. Well, I don't think people say Twinkie when they got ya. <laughs> um, Snowball obviously doesn't make sense. Susie Q, I don't think they would say that either. I'm going to go with Zinger. See? Final answer. All right, Zinger is right, going. Let's get a snowball. 300 times, let's see, times three is, oh, 300 times, sorry, times 30 is 9,000. And then six times 60. Oh, but there's at least, oh no, there's at least 9,000 days. Okay, so 365. I think let's see, three. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to do the plus one. I just can't work it. I can't work it out. You <laughs> right definitely now. gonna use your plus one. Yes. All right, she's gonna use her plus one. Come on down. Come on down. Her grandma, her biggest fan. All right, you get a chance to help her today. I'm gonna let you work on. <laughs> This is mad. Okay. So, oh, what? You were, I was trying to do your trick and I can't do it right now. So, 365 days in a year. Okay, well, if, if you did uh, you did 400, it'd go 200, but then you'd have to subtract. What? So, never mind. Okay. <laughs> okay. What? Strike that. Okay. I don't know. Okay, if you took, I'm trying to, okay. Okay, so 365 days in a year. Um, so 10,000, or 1,087, 365 goes into it. Is that twice? Two, that's... Okay. That'd be 700. 365 times 10. 65 times three. Oh yeah, it's, so it's gonna be twice, so that's two. Okay, so 365... Times. Times. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me think of it, okay. So, 10,876, you take 365 into it, so it would, three would not, 365 would not go into 108. It would go into 1,087. Yeah. And that's... So it wouldn't go 
The 36, I don't believe. 165, or 65 times 2 is 130. That's 130 plus, plus 600, so that's 730. So 1,087 minus 730 is 3... <laughs> you guys sound like me balancing my checkbook. 357. That's 357. So it's at least two. So it's not A or D. Um, I don't think you see. Do you want to do B? It's up to you. You pick a pick. Because either way. Okay. I think I'm going to go with C. Final answer. You brought your biggest fan up here. She's been with you through thick and thin. My whole life. Your whole life. It's pretty thick right now because you are correct! <laughs> going to be a city um, that's like in the Himalayas or in that Himalaya mountain range. Um, Manila, I believe, is in the Philippines, um, which is obviously a island, which I don't think that'd be a part of that railway. Prize Ocean Master is traveling to which Asian city? Let's see, Jakarta is in India, which is in the range of the Himalayas. Lhasa, I don't know, is that in Laos or something like that? I have no idea where that is. Oh my gosh, this would be a guess. And I have 26,000. 26, you have $26,600 in your bank. You have no lifelines remaining. If you decide to walk away right now, you leave with $13,300. Terry, why'd you gotta do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> Not a lifeline. <laughs> I did it to myself. It's okay. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, oh, I hate to do this. Are, this. are you willing to risk thirteen thousand three hundred dollars? Oh goodness. At home, yeah, I'd be like, yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> um, it's a little different here. A little bit of a chicken right now. Uh, thirteen thousand dollars is quite a bit of money. Um, I just really don't know. I could do an educated guess, but who knows if that's really educated. Um, I think, I think the best thing would be to walk, unfortunately. Is that your final decision, to walk away? Yeah, that's my final answer. All right, Kelsey Dickerson has decided to walk away with $13,300 in her bank. The right answer is Lhasa. Lhasa. We'll be back with more Millionaire with great people getting big money. Download the free Millionaire and Friends app today. It's a great way to challenge your friends to a game of millionaire. It's fun and it's free. 